Hi there. Let's again see if I can see myself. The first, first test that is everything working? It seems so. So good. The next thing is about the light. I'm thinking it's okay. I'm using, hey Maria, I'm using the light on opposite direction than usually to try to avoid the harsh shadows, but let's see how this goes. Still there's some shadow, but hopefully a little bit better than usual. And the housekeeping first, I'm adding the link to the announcement post to the chat as well. So if you want to check more photos of the sample project or if you want to check any of the mediums I'm using, so they are there. And then a couple of words in Finnish before we start, but I'm mainly talking English this time, so don't get alarmed. Elikkä heippa hei! Ja hauskaa lauantailta. Pääasiallisesti kielenä tällä kertaa tosiaan englanti, eli sitä hölpöttelen, mutta tuttuun tapaan noi kysymykset voi laittaa myös, myös suomeksi ja sitten vastailen todennäköisesti molemmilla kielillä, eli suomeksi ja englanniksi. Jos joku menee ohi, niin vastailen niihin sitten jälkikäteen. Mitäs mun piti vielä sanoa? Niin, siis jos kurssit kiinnostaa, niin Nannalle on nyt ilmoitettu kolme kurssia. Löytyy blogista niistä tiedot. Kahteen mahtuu, yksi on ihan täynnä. Ja sitten niitä on tulossa tässä kevään myötä muuallekin kuin sinne. Mutta nyt mä vaihdan taas takaisin englanniksi, mutta kuten, kuten aina, niin ei muuta kuin kommentteja ja kysymyksiä sitten vaan suomeksi tuohon chattiin, jos, jos jotain kysyttävää tulee. So back to English again. And well, we have still a couple of more minutes before we start. This is something we are doing this time. A little rusty rocket. When I saw these in a local craft store, Sersten Grene, they are magnets actually. I didn't even realize that before I bought them because I thought the shape was so fun. Little like uh, cut canvas bases and even with these embellishments the magnet still holds i tested it so we are up for some quite big fridge magnets after <laughs> this but as we still have a couple of more minutes can you confirm that you are seeing and hearing okay I'm hoping that it's okay. Let's see if it is or not. And also about the light, if you think it's okay, I can flip the ring light to the kind of normal direction. I usually use it when there's more light. As there's the delay, I'm waiting a little bit and take a sip of tea. <laughs> Nia says it's okay, so I'm thinking that we are okay, okay to go. So, and now my clock is eight, so let's get started with this one. Heipä hei Mia, Tuija, Karita, tervetuloa, kiitokset. So, these are like ready bases, so let's move that aside and work on this one. The first layer I added, I'm thinking you can see it, hopefully the camera is somewhat okay. There, the little bit of mesh peeking there is actually drywall tape. So you can find this at hardware stores, at least here in Finland, it's looking like this, like this little mesh tape, really handy. 
because it has adhesive in the back, easy to use, and adds a little bit of texture. And the fun part also is that there's no drying time because it's dry adhesive. Just cutting a couple of pieces and adding them first. Okay, that wanted to move there. Let's honor its so kind of idea and put it there. Maybe a piece there and well, let's add the last one there as well. My tape seems to be a little bit dusty, but no matter, there's layers coming on top, so they will adhere. And then on top, we need some of these. These are, as you can see, really dimensional chipboards from Snipart. But if you have actual nuts and bolts and screws and stuff, you can use those as well. These are just handy. I've been stashing these for quite a while because I really like the look. But of course, you just need to use your, your items. Otherwise, it will end up like one of my papers back in the day. I was really hoarding one pattern piece of paper and wouldn't use it for anything. And then I looked at it, let's say half a year uh, of its being in, in my stash, and then I didn't like it anymore. <laughs> so better to use it. I have two thickness of heavy body gel medium here at the table, partly because this jar, as you can see, it's almost empty. So if I run out, I can continue with this. But also, if you have any questions about Dell Medium and the difference between these two, for example, just let me know. These are our Dell Mediums, are one of my favorites. So that's a nice subject for me to talk about. These metal embellishments are from the Finnabar collection. So they are like bottle caps, bigger and small, but of course you can use anything. These are just handy because of the different sizes. I'm probably going to imitate the composition of the first rocket this time, so it's going to be almost identical. Bye bye, Tarja! Come on. There we go. Moikka bye, bye, Nina! Tosiaan, englanniksi tällä kertaa helpottelen, mutta tuttuun tapaan ei muuta kuin kysymykset suomeksi, jos, jos jotain kysyttävää on. So, let's put this one here. And this one, I'm trying to be frugal and using the, even the last little bits. This one, and then I can use this kind of spillage coming through that little hole to adhere this one. These, the wings and the little moon face don't look like much because they are casted over the silicone molds with my favorite casting medium, which is, if you have seen the lives before, it's hot glue. So they will turn out to be like this. Hey, paella! Kortti lähes valmis ja jääkaapilla käyttiin ehti mukaan. Täydellistä! Mullakin on T-kupponen tossa, että sain niinku 
Sarilla oli siis live tuossa meneillään, mitä olin kattelemassa, mutta sitten piti jättää se kesken ja hypätä tähän ottamaan tavaroita esille ja keittää teitä. There was another Finnish live going and I had to cut it short in order to have the supplies out for my own live. And then I of course made also some tea. Hi Marina! I'm honored you're here. Heipa hei Kaisu! So these two or three aren't looking like much at the moment. They need to have some mediums on top, but the hot glue is such an easy medium to cast with. Only you need to keep in mind that it's hot glue, so if you're using heat tool, that might cause problems. Heippa Leena! Heippa Merja! Tosiaan pääasiallisesti hölpöttelen englanniksi, mutta jos jotain kysyttävää on, niin suomeksi vastailen myös. So, if you're just joining, I'm starting the composition. So this, which doesn't look like much, is going to be turned into this a little bit later on. Now the elements are on their original color. For example, these are hot glue made with silicone molds and hot glue. So they don't look like much at the moment, but hopefully they will be. At least that that sample project is done the very same way. I'm using gel medium to adhere these little bits and pieces. If you are not familiar with that medium, I'm happy to tell you a little bit more about it, but just let me know. And there's some drywall tape underneath it all to give a little bit of texture there. Then we need just this one here. And again, there's some kind of spillage from that hole, so I'm adding the embellishment on top, partly to hide it and partly just to have a little bit more going on. Oh, Karita has a question. Pienten värillisten pastojen pehmentämiseen kuvesi. She's asking about the colored paste on Fina Berlin, I'm, I'm assuming to make them more fluid or soft. I'm first answering in Finnish and then saying the same in English. Uh, vettä, joo, mutta sitä tosiaan maksimissa on 30 prosenttia, koska akrylipohjaisia ne on. Et sit siellä on Finnabarin omassa valikoimassa tai ylipäätään taidevalikoimissaan tai muussa, niin siis toi uh, niinku ohuempi gel medium, eli semmoinen niinku vesimäinen, ei välttämättä edes niinku Finnabarin se soft body versio, vaan vielä sitä ohuempaa. Se on joku liquid medium tai sen tyyppinen muistaakseni Finnavaarilla. Niin sitä vähän, koska siinä on sitä niin kuin sidosainetta, mikä on akryylimaaleissa, niin silloin siinä ei käy se, että se ei enää tartu. Niin sitä voi koittaa. Se on ainakin sellainen, mitä noin Finnavaar niin kuin tiimiläiset on, on vinkannut. Uh, so if you, your acrylic based products get too kind of hard or they are a little bit dry so you can add just a teeny tiny bit of water but maximum of 30% because otherwise they won't stick to the base anymore because you could dilute also the binding agent but if you want to try you can also use really nice liquid gel mediums that are available almost like watercolor consistency so really fluid ones so you can add those because then you are adding a little bit of moisture but also the binder so they will work on top of different surfaces even after adding that kind of diluting thing but these gel mediums I'm using here are the heavy body ones so the really thick ones so now we have the composition done. 
and I love gel medium. The kind of down point to that is the drying time, especially here in Finland. You need to dry it several hours, preferably overnight. So I'm doing a switchy. Ta da! <laughs> this one I made beforehand, so they are already tightly secured. The only difference that I use Tom kind of already embellished versions. So now the wings and the moon face already have something on top, but don't get alarmed by that. Because the next stage I'm grabbing black heavy gesso and covering everything. <laughs> so even if you would work uh, with the, let's say, buttons or found ephemera or something and the colors clashed, no worries, because a layer of gesso on top and you won't see the difference anymore. Because for these projects or this project, I'm going with kind of a rusty color scheme. I'm using black gesso as it's kind of acting as the shadow. But if you would like to have something more sweet and delicate, then white gesso. But depending on the gesso, you might need a couple of layers with the white one, especially if there's really hard contrast, like this vibrant red and electric blue, for example. But with black, that usually covers in just one go. And now that everything is dry, I can be a little bit heavy-handed how I'm applying the paint, because they are secured tightly. If I'm doing a bigger piece, I've said it before, I usually do that the last thing before going to bed, so I'm not poking the project all the time, just trying to argue, are you dry yet? Are you dry yet? And sometimes it's easier to add the first layer of black gesso before adding anything to the project because well this is relatively easy with bigger gaps between the elements and also there's not that much layering but if you add for example lace as the first layer then adding the black gesso through those holes in the lace is really time consuming. So it's really easy to first paint the layer and then adhere everything and then add the layer on top. So you don't have to use hours and hours trying to cover little white holes in the lace or any kind of that mesh-like material. I'm using Finnabar gesso, but any black gesso would do. These are heavy body ones, so they are thicker paints. But if it's more fluid, that's okay as well. If you don't have gesso, even black paint would do. But gesso gives a nice kind of base ground for any paint mediums coming on top. When I'm done with this layer, I'm really quickly going to dry it with the heat tool, but being really careful and cautious with the molded elements, because as I said, they are made out of hot glue, so I won't, uh, I don't want to melt them. The gesso layer secures them a little bit, because there's a layer kind of covering that, but still.
as you can see I'm also kind of trying to look the project from different angles so there's not the white peeking through especially if these are going to be fridge magnets as the base is magnetic so they are probably going to be handled and looked from different angles so you don't want that white to be showing anywhere also a little trick if you're having a hard time getting the paint to little grooves is use a wet brush because even a touch of that black paint it doesn't have to be a complete solid layer that will kind of trick the eye to believe that it's all already in black I'm going to really quickly dry this now. that I have a fingerprint there so let's cover that and also another layer to the metal it seems that it wanted to this time with the metal embellishments and the chipboard pieces I can be more relaxed about using the heat but with the molded elements just a little bit careful so they kind of retain their shape here we go oh still a little bit wet there well let's let's call that done and another quick dry for those added areas This is now looking like a big blob <laughs> in the uh, screen. I'm trying to show you that there's still still all the dimensional layers there, but soon they will be more visible. So let's put, for example, this one here. So this one is going to be this one. Hey, bye, Arya. The well, the color is one difference, but also the little astronaut. But I'm not putting him or him to the rocket before I'm added all the colorant layers, because I want this to be see-through, kind of like a window to the rocket. So that's the last detail I'm adding. So next I'm adding some color. And as this is a rusty rocket, my my Sirpa, I'm using kind of rusty colors. Again, these are from the Finnabar line, but any metallic paint will do. Or you can even use like um, non-metallic, just regular acrylic paints. Of course, they will look a little bit different. In case you are wondering about the colors these are hazelnut rustic brown and flame then we need a paintbrush I'm just adding colors to the project and letting them kind of mix on top of it 
little bit more of that. Just kind of going with the flow really quickly. Not too much thinking. Using the same brush and three different colors. Not going through the little caps that thoroughly. A little bit underneath here so there's not much, much just black left. But it's not going to be a solid color. More like just touching. Well, it's not dry brushing as, as such. There's more color coming in, but still not totally covering everything. Tarja is asking about the colors. Um, nämä siis Finnobairin Metallic Art Alchemy Metallic maaleja. Eli tämmöisiä siis hohtavia metalli, metallimaisia akryylimaaleja. Ihan nää. Värinimet oli siis Hazelnut, Rustic Brown ja Flame. Nämä versiot. So these were acrylic colors with kind of metallic shine to them. From the Finnobar line, these ones that I used. Hazelnut, Rustic Brown and then Flame. So here we go then. Again, dry. Again, I'm trying to be cautious with the molded elements. If you're using resin or something, then of course it's easier for you to just <laughs> use a heat tool. But with hot glue, you just need to keep in mind what you have used. But it's really easy. And also the transformation is kind of funky because they look like this when they come out of the mold and you can turn them into anything just by using different colors on top. For the rusty effect or kind of highlighting the texture, because as you can see, there's quite a bit of difference between this one and this one. I'm using a wax. This could be a acrylic color as well with just dry brushing, but I found waxes easier. And as you can see, this one is a really old one. This one is from the beginning when Finnobar released the waxes. So it's a little bit dry, kind of going uh, side by side in the jar, but still with the warmth of my hand, I can get the wax out of it and it still works just fine, even though it's not not as kind of soft as it used to be. And usually with waxes I like to use my own finger because then it's easier for me to control the pressure. And I can just kind of go over the tops of the elements or the edges. Whereas with a rigid brush, you might end up covering everything and then, well, it's probably looking really nice and fine with the silvery, but then it's kind of, why would you first paint it with two other colors and then turn it to totally, totally silver? Because this way you can see all the different layers there is. There is the black one. And there's the brown tones and then the silver coming on top. So even though the 
brown paints are metallic, they start looking more like a rusty toned when you add the silver highlighting on top. Just here and there. And it seems that I've done what I usually do. No, actually. I was thinking like where did the old drywall tape go, but it's here. Yeah, this was the re ready-made sample, so there's just a teeny tiny bit there, which I'm trying to highlight. And then kind of the last element, the difference between these two is then the astronaut. You can then decide which one I'm going to add into the rocket. There's this kind of gentleman looking man or then a dog. I was thinking about Laika when cutting these. These are all made out of uh, Tim Holtz paper dolls. Me is saying that this would make a nice little uh, birthday card. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Hauska idea, tosiaan. Siis voihan täällä joku muunkin välinen kuin tämmönen ruosteinen, mutta et se voisi olla hauska vielä, että siellä olisi jo sitten sankarin kuva täällä niin kuin, raketissa mukana. Ja kun nämä tosiaan on siis niin kuin noita, mikä tämä nimi on, magneetteja, niin siinä olisi vielä siis se, että saisi sen kortin jääkaappiin vaikka kiinni, tai jos on joku oma muistitaulun siihen. So, which one do I put? Kumpi laitetaan? Laitetaanko tämmönen setä sinne rakettiin vai sitten koira, laikakoira? Do I put him or her? Dog, of course. I thought that would be funny, even though kind of sending an innocent animal to space isn't any anyway funny, but still kind of reference to the groundbreaking dog. Now I need to be careful just to add it kind of to the die cut part. This will dry clear, but now it will be nicer looking if I'm just touching the paper side of it, because otherwise you can get the white, white looking stuff there. So now during the live, I'm trying to be more careful then. If I would just make it on my own. Oh, here we are. Now there's a boy and his dog. <laughs> I'm going to finish the third one after it's totally dry. Because now when I would start painting it, let me go closer so you can see that they are still wobbly. The heavy body gel medium needs some trying time, so it's easier for me to wait a couple of hours or even an overnight, and then I can just be more hard-handed when I'm applying the gesso, so I don't have to worry about anything. And also the two mediums won't mix, but then the third rocket will carry him to the space as well, and I have a triplet of little rockets. They actually come in a pack of four, so I have just one more, which I'm going to use for something else. Like three, three rusty rockets is <laughs> enough this time. So this was a really, really quick live. Sorry. As you can see, because I'm already done. If you have any questions about this project or something else, please let me know. And if you don't have any questions and want to leave and do something totally different, because it's Saturday after all, so thank you so much for coming today. 
and I'm keeping two lives during next month, that is of March, one in Finnish and one in English. Pikaisesti tässä vaiheessa jo kiitokset, jos on mitään kysymyksiä tai tästä tai jostakin muusta, niin ei muuta kuin kirjoittamaan niitä chattiin. Ensi kuussa on sitten suomenkielinen versio ja englanninkielinen versio oli kaksi liveä tulossa. Toiseen olen suomenkieliseen tehnyt jo mallinkin, että mitä, mitä on tekemässä. Englanninkielisestä ei vielä mitään hajua, mutta eikö jotenkin tästä selkene. Mutta tosiaan kiitos tosi paljon, kun olitte kurkkimaan. Oli aika lyhkäinen tällä kertaa, kun oli tämä valmis malli ja toisaalta helppo projekti. Niin, niin. Tämmöinen pikalive tällä kertaa. So, if you don't have any questions or if you are watching the recording and have questions, just like leave them to the chat and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or you can always email me or message me or whatever social media you have in use and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you get some ideas or inspiration out of this one. A really quick and easy project actually if you just have two mediums that are my kind of go-to superheroes. Gesso and Delnidium. So then you can do this. <laughs> Bye Marina. Thank you for coming. Kiitos Leena, kiitos Eija, kiitos Sirpa. Kiitoksia paljon. Kiitos Tuija. Suomalaisille siis vielä. Kiitos Karita. Tiedokset, jos, jos nämä kiinnostaa, että oli kolme eri mallia. Oli tämmöisiä raketin mallisia kaloja. Ja sitten mä en enää muista, mikä se yksi oli. Mutta nämä on siis Söstenegreenestä löydetty. Siellä käväsin ja oli silleen, että hei, noita on pakko. Pakko napata mukaan, koska ne oli niin hauskan näköisiä. Yeah. Mutta jos, jos jotain tulee, niin ei muuta kuin jättäkää viestiä tai laittakaa, laittakaa viestiä, niin vastailen sitten. Thank you so much and have a great Saturday evening, day, night, morning, depending where you are. Or if you're watching the recording. So have a great one. Thank you for coming and I'll be seeing you live in next month. Bye.